So you're building an IVR to create a more personalized customer experience for your business phone line, and you've heard that you can do that with Twilio. IVR stands for Interactive Voice Response, and it's a customizable menu that routes calls that come into your business based on the option the caller selects. Here's the basic IVR we'll be creating. Our IVR will have a menu of options where you can connect with sales, get our operating hours, or receive a text with our address. You'll be able to interact using the buttons on your phone or by using your voice. Let's get started and get this up and running. We'll be building our basic IVR with a quick deploy from Twilio's Code Exchange. Code Exchange is a great way to experiment with what is possible with Twilio. All we need to create this application is a Twilio account, a Twilio phone number, and a personal phone number to experiment with. Our basic IVR is going to provide customers with a simple menu of options. Once the customer calls our Twilio number, they'll be given an option for sales. If they say sales or press one, their call will be routed to the number we designate as my phone number. If they say opening hours or press two, the call will be routed to a message that says our hours of operation. And if they say address or press three, we'll send the caller a text message with our address. And if the caller presses a number that isn't from one to three or says something that isn't related to our prompts, we'll tell them we didn't understand and replay the options. We're on the code exchange site. And if we go to the quick deploy apps and then filter by voice, we'll see the basic IVR application. We're going to quick deploy the basic IVR project to Twilio. So all we need to do is make sure that we're logged in. I'm logged in here, but if you're not, go ahead and log in at this point. Select a Twilio phone number from the list that you want to use for this application, and then supply your personal phone number to test out the application. Next, we'll click deploy to deploy the application, which will create a bunch of Twilio functions for the application. This will take a little bit of time, but once it's done, we'll be able to test our phone number. Okay, underneath step three, it's indicating that this was a successful deploy. So we're ready to give this a test. Remember, you want to call this Twilio phone number to access the IVR. Okay, let's give our phone number a call and give this a test. Please press one or say sales to talk to someone. Press two or say opening hours to hear when we are open. Press three or say address to receive a text message with our address. I'll press one. Thank you. You will now be forwarded to our sales department. And you'll see I'm getting a call to, to my phone number from me. So we know that that worked. I'll call again and try out the second option. Please press one or say sales to talk to. We are open from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. every day but Sunday. Okay, awesome. So that one works. And then once more, this time I will use the voice option to say address. Please press one or say sales to talk address. to someone, press two. We will send you a text message with our address in a minute. And here you can see that I received the text message with Twilio's address. Let's give it one more call and press an option that's not in the menu. Please press one or say sales to talk to someone. We are sorry, we did not recognize your option. Please try again. Please press one or say sales to talk to someone. Now that we've tested that the quick deploy worked, let's edit the application to make it our own. We'll click on the go to live application button. And then from the resulting page that was generated inside of our Twilio functions, we'll click edit this application. This will take us over to Twilio functions. Twilio functions is a serverless environment that makes it really easy to create applications that are scalable and built in the cloud using JavaScript. There are two functions that are driving our logic. There's the handle user input function and the voice IVR function. Let's start inside of the voice IVR function to see how this works. We see a comment up at the top that says, if the user enters something, it will trigger the handle user input function. Otherwise it'll go into a loop. We've seen this in action. We initially heard the voice tell us whether to press one, two, or three. And if we punched in a digit, then this gather will fire off and the action is going to take us to the handle user input function. Let's take a look at what that does. If we go to handle user input, this is what gets called with the result of the user selecting input. So 
if they punch in one or if they say sales, what we're gonna end up seeing is that it will dial the phone number that we specified. If they go through the second option, it's gonna return our hours of operations. And if use case three goes through, then it'll say we will send a text message with our address in a minute. And ultimately, if they had pressed three, then we'll also send a message using the send message function that's up at the top of this file. Scrolling up there, that is what we're going to change for our modification to this, just to make it our own. So I'm gonna change the address from Twilio's address to the address that you might recognize of P. Sherman. Does anybody know it? Does anybody know it? It's 42 Wallaby Way. And that's going to be in Sydney. And I believe the address is going to be formatted like our Australian counterparts will let us know if I got that right. But yeah, there we've updated the address. And now that we've made a change, we can click save to save this function. And since we've made a change, we need to click deploy to deploy it to our Twilio runtime service. This will build the application. And once it's done, We'll get a message down in the log there that it's ready to go and we'll test it out again. And there it is, it's completely deployed and you'll see green check marks next to all of your files. Okay, I'm going to call the number back and I'm going to select three for address and we should get the updated address texted back to us. Please press one or say sales to talk to someone, press two. We will send you a text message with our address in a minute. And here we can see, I got the text message for P. Sherman 42 Wallaby Way. That was super simple. Feel free to customize this function further to fit your needs. You could change the hours of operation. You could change the environment variable for the phone number you could call. The sky's the limit. Code Exchange quick deploys really are the quickest way to get up and running with a Twilio use case. We have Code Exchange quick deploys for many of Twilio's products. In fact, now that you've set up this IVR, check out this video to take a peek at another one of our quick deploy projects.